Real American Cooking Episode 1 The Grilled Cheese Dog on Whole Wheat Bun Today I'm going to show you what you can do with a simple slice of American cheese and a whole wheat hot dog bun. You want a grilled cheese, but you don't have any proper bread. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just not have a grilled cheese? I don't think so. So you fold the cheese and divide it in half and set those aside. Throw some butter on the pan and start warming the pan up. Get it ready. Now you have your basic hot dog bun. Doesn't even have to be a particularly fresh hot dog bun, as long as you can still get it open. Just gently open her up. Now sometimes they want to tear bad, and then you don't get two good pieces. And you got you really want two good equal pieces to make a sandwich. So rather than just rip the bun, I'm going to score it with a knife first. Try to make sure that it tears evenly. I suppose I could just cut it too, but I don't have a cutting block. So I'm just going to kind of hold it in my hand here and score it with the knife. I'm not really trying to cut it with the knife. And then separate the two sides. And you're on to your next step, which is to apply some butter to the bread. Now, you can try to do it old school with a knife, but sometimes the butter or the margarine is too stiff or cold and it doesn't work so well. And who's got time to hassle with this? So, I'll show you a little bit more what I mean about the cold butter. Because it's not a good idea to let your butter just sit out and be room temperature all the time to keep it soft. And while it is perfectly doable to do it this way, the easier way that a lot of people use is to simply cut off a piece of butter and melt it on the pan. So with the pan warmed up, we're going to try the other method of buttering the bread, which is what I call the hot butter method. Just kind of spread it around in the pan, roughly in the shape of the bread you're going to put on it. And you can wipe any excess off on the bread itself, but you just put, dab it on there, let it soak up the butter, and you get a nice coating that way. And you don't have to smash up the bread so much like you do with a knife. And then any last bit's going to be sufficiently melted to just smooth right on. And that part is done. Now you want to butter the inside part of the bun, not the crust, because the cheese is going to stick very readily to the crust. But the crust is not going to toast so well against the pan. You want the nice inside of the bun to be against the pan. So now we apply the cheese to the back of the bun and set the back of the other bun against it. Tuck it in nice. So that you've got symmetry from the top and the bottom. And we're on our way now. It's just a matter of cooking it. And now let's flip it and see how the first side did. Ah, oh, look at that. So you can't get that effect with the with the crust side of the bun. You have to have the inside to get that nice caramelizing golden brown effect. And I'm starting to get hungry now. So this thing better hurry up and cook for me. And while that's cooking, let's discuss other hot dog ideas. Now the slaw dog, which is just a hot dog with coleslaw, and it's too simple. 
garlic bread is also too simple. You just a little butter and a little minced garlic, and you've got garlic bread. So I wanted to take it one step further and show you what more can be done by applying a little bit of heat to the situation. And now that it's done, we can pick this thing up and flip it over and see how the other side did. Look at that. Even better. So there you go. That's your basic grilled cheese dog. Slides right out of the pan onto the plate. And looks like so. Yum. So thanks for staying. Mow down American style. Be sure to subscribe and comment with your cooking questions. And we'll show you more videos of real American cooking. Have a happy grilled cheese day today, April 12, 2018.